This is the coat of arms of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. I'll be explaining what this coat of arms represents and what the many symbols and insignia on it mean. First off, we'll start with the crown. This is the crown of Her Majesty Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, and other Commonwealth realms. It's really just a picture of a crown, but it's meant to represent the current monarch of the United Kingdom, which just happens to be her. Fun fact, whenever a monarch dies, all crowns using official insignia that were created during her lifetime are to be no longer used and replaced by the crown of the new monarch. Anyways, naturally, as the United Kingdom is a kingdom, the crown displayed represents its monarch. Next up is the lion. The lion was adopted by the Normans as their symbol. When they invaded England under William the Conqueror, they kept the lion as an emblem, and it has stayed as a royal symbol ever since. Hence, the crown lions represent the monarch as well as England, the country of which used the Norman lions as a national symbol long before the United Kingdom even existed. The unicorn represents Scotland, as Scotland's national animal is the unicorn. Although the crown and chains binding the unicorn may give the idea of Scottish oppression, the given reason is that unicorns were said to be dangerous beasts when allowed to be free, and so had to be chained. Which begs the question, did they think the lions to be friendly? These little clusters down here display the floral emblems of each of the main components of the United Kingdom. Except for Wales, because, well, it's Wales. The little purple flower is the Scottish thistle. The shamrock represents Ireland, although most of Ireland has broken off and Northern Ireland is usually represented by the Red Hand of Ulster, they kept the shamrock because, well, you never know. And finally, the rose is the Tudor Rose, which is white and red due to the House of Tudor, being a merger of House York and House Lancaster, who used the white and red roses as their emblems during the War of the Roses. The motto, Deo e Mondrot, meaning God and my right, is the motto of the British monarch, which is in reference to the right to rule supposedly being ordained by God. We'll now move on to the centerpiece. Around the crest is a belt-like thing known as a garter circlet, reading this. I'm not gonna try and say that. It means shame on he who thinks evil. This is the motto of the Order of the Garter, one of the country's oldest and most prestigious orders. Within the center, there are four sections. The section containing the golden harp on blue represents the harp of Ireland, as it was the flag of the Kingdom of Ireland. It is still there because you never know. The red lion on yellow represents Scotland, as this was the royal standard of the Kingdom of Scotland and represented the House of Stuart, which were the monarchs of Scotland for a long time. The two quarters containing three gold lions on red represents England, which was taken from the Normans as mentioned. This is the coat of arms of the monarch well in Scotland. The motto on the bottom means no one provokes me with impunity. This is the motto of Scotland. In defense, this means in defense. Below in defense is the red line of Scotland. Extra Scottish royal standard because, well, we're in Scotland. Thistles everywhere, no time for lions, shamrocks, or whales still. Up here is the Scottish Saltair, or St. Andrew's Cross, a well-known flag of Scotland, and this is St. Andrew on his cross. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more and feel free to like and share if you enjoyed. If you would like to see a future topic covered, be sure to make a suggestion in the comment section below.